Hey guys, it's Jess with Tech House Inspections. Very sunny today. Um, I am on a roof and <clears throat> I thought I would talk to you today about metal flue pipes. Um, I make note of these even when they aren't in as bad a shape as the one I'll show you today is in simply because it's a piece of metal sitting outside on our roof so that alone would make it rust. But the other thing that you have to remember is the flue gas is the exhaust for these flue pipes like what they're hooked up to water heaters furnaces is acidic it's very corrosive so that acts on the metal as well so you've just got you know rainwater and the elements outside working on the outer layer of that flue pipe and then the inner wall is being corroded by the exhaust gases that it is carrying which by their nature are also damp so um you know it's something that i make a note of if i see a metal flue pipe on a roof period because people have to monitor it so that they don't let the flue pipe get to the point where this flue pipe is so i'll show i'll flip this around and show you um what this one's doing and what else can happen with these flue pipes so so this is the metal flue pipe you've probably seen these you may have one of these on your own roof but <clears throat> oftentimes the first place that starts to rust is actually right here at the top which you can see this one is rusting as well and it has a split right at the top of it and plenty of times I'll see where this rusts right through and this little cap falls off and then it's just raining into the flue pipe. This one also not visible from the ground but right at the seam here you'll see this is also split wide open. So um, this is definitely something that if you have a metal flue pipe like this um, on your roof that you should take a look at and like you can see um, one side of it where the rust is you can only see it from on your roof um, but it's a good idea if you've lived in your home for a while and you have a metal flue pipe up there and it was there when you moved in it's probably time to look at um, replacing it you know um, generally speaking if you catch it early enough you're only replacing you know the couple of feet that are actually above the roof line because that's what really takes most of the beating um, the rest of it usually going down through the attic and into your home is usually okay unless that corrosion has gotten really bad and now it's just rusting all the way through um, which can happen but that's pretty rare so um, I thought I would uh, take this opportunity because today's roof presented itself. I thought I'd talk to you guys about that. So I got to get it all written up. My client will be here soon. Take care. Bye.